What's up everybody, it's what Jim, and this is my first video of being 20 years old, and to celebrate, I'm ranking my favourite film for all the years I've been alive. What the Jim? If you're up for the challenge, you can let me know in the comment section below your favourite film from all the years you've been alive, and you can go ahead and rank them as well. I'm going to be ranking these on something called Tier Maker, and I'll link the tier list that I actually rank these on in the description below. It's one I've made myself. I've been wanting to do this for a while, and let's go ahead and rank these films, which would be from 2003 all the way to 2023. So we have 21 movies to rank on Tier Maker. Let's do this. Here we are on Tier Maker, and we are on the What the Gym's Favourite Film of 2003 to 2023 tier list. And it says in the description, what the Jim from YouTube's favourite film for the first 20 years of his life. And there's an S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier and D tier. And there's, like I said, 21 films to rank. And we're going to go ahead and do this. If I can find it, that is. Here we go. That's what I'm looking for. Presentation mode. Right. Here we go. Let's go ahead and rank these. So we'll start off with my favourite film for 2003 being Finding Nemo. One of my favourite Pixar movies of all time. So I'm going to put it, I'm not going to put it in S tier, but I'm going to put it in A tier. I saw that film loads as a kid. The, 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 bit, the bit I'm not the biggest fan of Finding, Finding Nemo is the dentist part. But other than that, I still think it's an incredible movie. So now I'll move on to 2004. So for 2004, my favourite film is Spider-Man 2. One of my favourite superhero movies of all time. And one, one of my favourite sequels of all time. But I don't think this is the perfect movie, so I'm going to put it in A tier. But do I prefer it to find Nemo? I'd say slightly, yes. I'd say slightly. So now we'll move on to 2005, my favourite film. From that year is Madagascar. I saw this loads as a kid. So to be honest, I feel like it's just a good movie. But because I saw it loads as a kid, so I've got that sentimental value for it. I, I, I think it's a great movie. So because of that, I'm going to put it in B tier. For 2006, I've got... Night at the Museum. I think this is a great movie, so I'm going to put it in B tier. And actually, I prefer it slightly more to Madagascar. For 2007, I've got Enchanted, one of my favourite live-action Disney movies. And for me, that's going to go in B tier, but it beats Night at the Museum and Madagascar, in my opinion. For 2008, we've got the film that started off the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, that is. And that is the one and only Iron Man. And I think that's an amazing movie, but I still prefer Finding Nemo and Spider-Man 2, probably because I've rewatched those ones a lot more. For 2009, I've got one of my favourite comedies, and that is The Hangover. And to me, that's going to go in B tier, but I'm not sure where in B tier. We're going to go ahead and just leave it at this position in B tier. At least for now, I can change it towards the end of this. Now for 2010, I've got Toy Story 3. And I'm going to go with this one, I'm going to go with A tier, but do prefer it to Iron Man. I do think I prefer Iron Man slightly more, so we'll leave Toy Story 3 where it is. For 2011, I've got a film that I think is very underrated, and that is After Christmas. I think it's a pretty great movie. I'm going to put it in B tier, but I do prefer The Hangover to After Christmas. I've definitely got a variety of movies here. For 2012, I've got The Avengers, and for me that's A tier. And I prefer it to Toy Story 3 and Iron Man. Do prefer it to Finding Nemo. <sighs> and no, I, I think I prefer Finding Nemo slightly more. Now for 2013, is Despicable Me 2. Not gonna lie, I don't think it's one of my favourite films now. But when, when, when I first watched it, I absolutely loved this movie. So for me, I'm going to have to put it in C tier. I think it's a good movie. But when I first saw it, I thought it was amazing. I was the perfect age for that film, being 10 years old. My favourite film of 2014 is The Lego Movie. I remember being blown away by this movie. So in my opinion, it's an amazing film and it's going to go in A tier. And I do prefer it's Toy Story 3 and Iron Man and The Avengers. And I think I prefer it to Find Nemo. You know what? I think I prefer it to all of these. Just because I've seen the film loads and I absolutely love it. I still think it holds up to this day. For 2015, we've got one of my favourite action movies, John Wick. That's definitely going to go in A tier. 
and in fact it's going to go right at, oof, is it going to go before Lego Movie or after? Hmm, you know what, I'm actually going to put it, so, I want to put it above Lego Movie, but I love those, those two almost equally. I, I, I absolutely love all those films in ATL. For 2016, I've got another film in the MCU, quite a few films from the Marvel Cinematic Universe in this tier list, and that is Captain America Civil War. For me, that's A tier, but I, I do prefer it to Toy Story 3, and I do prefer it to Iron Man, but I do prefer the first Avengers movie to Civil War. For 2017, I've got Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, one of my favourite comedy adventure films, and I'm going to put it, but I'm, I'm still going to put it in B tier, in my opinion. And I'm going to, I'm going to say I prefer Enchanted slightly more to this, because I've seen Enchanted more. So I'll leave Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle underneath the Lego Movie. For 2018, we've got a big one, that's Avengers Infinity War. And this is probably going to be the only S tier one. I think this is a perfect superhero movie and one of my favourite movies of all time. I absolutely love it. The ending of that film gets to me every single time. For 2019, we've got the sequel to Avengers Infinity War and that is Avengers Endgame. And for me, that's going to go in A tier, but I do prefer it to Spider-Man 2. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. For 2020, it is Onward. So I'm not going to put Onward really, really high because I've only seen it once. But I'm, going to, I'm still going to put it in B tier, but just behind After Christmas. For 2021, the last film we'll talk about for the MCU, that is Spider-Man No Way Home. Another big movie, and that's going to go in A tier. And I'm actually put, oof, where am I going to put in A tier? You know what, I'm going to go ahead and leave it where it is. It's still an incredible movie. It definitely deserves being an A tier, but I think all those other films in A tier I do prefer a bit more. For 2022, I've got Top Gun Maverick, awesome blockbuster film. That's going to go in A tier. I'm going to go ahead and put it there. Now I'll move on to my favourite film in 2023, the final one we're talking about, and that is Plane. I've only seen it once, but it's an excellent action movie, and it's currently in cinemas now, so if you've got a chance to watch this in the cinema, I highly recommend to. I want to put an A tier. But I'm going to put it last in the AT year though. So that's it. So that's my ranking. And I'm just going ahead and looking at everything. I'm satisfied with everything's placed. I think I think so. I've got one film in the S tier. I've got 12 films in A. I've got 7 films in B. And 1 in C. So that's it for ranking my favourite film of all the years I've currently been alive. And you can go ahead and share your ranking of this in the comment section below. Or go ahead and do the tier list yourself. Because again, I've got that linked in the description below. You can also let me know your favourite film of all the years you've been alive. And go ahead and rank them. It's entirely up to you. And don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and comment. Until next time everyone. Ciao.